Hello everyone, so I'm going to upgrade um my um main computer with well I'm gonna upgrade my um laptop with my dad drop. I have it has a Dell Prison Prison M or you can just type in M forty eight hundred and it's really an old laptop has fourth generation CPU and it cannot run Windows or well. But today the video is this is my main computer. Microsoft says oh your computer cannot run Windows or well. it will damage your hardware. That is not true. You, the only thing you requirement, you're gonna need at you even though you can put it on if you don't have four gigabytes when you can put it says four gigabytes of RAM, sixty-four um gigabytes of storage, sixty-four bit CPU, two core CPU, you can put on one, but two core is recommended because it's not slow. So anyway, if I run the since they had the new twenty two H two update, if I run it and I delete this if I delete the file on the sources and I delete app racers that DLL it's going to say it's not going to let me upgrade it doesn't pop up the requirements so what we're going to do is we're going to run this one I will have a link in the description it says TPM but it's going to be do everything this laptop has 32 gigabytes of RAM 4 core processor 64 bit CPU you have to be 64 bit CPU 32 bit CPU Sorry, but it won't work because it only supports 64 bit. So let's run it. So that this is not how we do it, so Okay, this is says Windows Server, but it's not. This is Windows Aware. It's this. So this way we can skip it. Says download updates. We're gonna do that. So I wanna help me. If it pops up, then we can do it the other way. So this I'm checking for updates. We're gonna this. Okay, so it's actually work. Except. Keep personal you if you want to keep everything you don't want to do any apps you're gonna click keep files this is the default nothing don't do that if you want to keep everything let's do it if you want to keep only personal files then that's up to you but for me I'm gonna choose this option keep files settings and apps so next check for updates and when so it's Windows 10 here, 21 H2. They didn't have it, so that's why I'm upgrading to Windows 11. 22 H2, the new update. And you can see second updates, but they changed this right here. It's they changed the new boot animation. Oh, sorry, you hear something in the background. That's coming from the the road outside. Sorry about that. It's just making sure you are ready. So that means before you do this, even though if you push the Windows key, you still can access it. I don't know if you can do that, but it's the best to save anything you have, any documents you work. Save your work before you upgrade, before you hit that. Um, that.
there we go. So before, say I'm gonna repeat again. I could not remember. So I'm gonna. I did not plug in, but I'm gonna plug in the battery right now. It says plug in your battery. Well, even if it says it, well, if I plug it in, if it does not go away. It does not mean, but I plug it in. So how? You can see that the shouting light is on. So we're gonna plug it in into the computer. Plug in, you won't be able to use your saving clothes in some Windows 11 Pro. I have Windows 11 Pro. Yet they must make sure you sign in to your Microsoft account, which is why we not do. So make sure you sign in to, if you don't sign in, it's not gonna transfer the key over. That's why you sign in your Microsoft account. So with that out of the way, let's click the install button. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video now and we will be back. So, okay, so it's almost done. So it's gonna say your PC will restart in a few moments. That means the PC, it's, I think it's it done. That means the percentage, it go all the way to 100% then we will start, no, 95% then this is sometimes normal. It just, you, you, your PC will restart several times. This might take a while, so this depends on the speed. You are unsupported out there. You have a hard drive that's going to take longer. But this PC has a solid state drive. 32 gigabytes of RAM. Six, and this depends on. Okay, so it just restarted the PC. So we are going to up. So we are going to boot into the Windows 11 operating system on this PC. Hmm. They changed the boot boot animation. Working on the updates. Your computer may key. Please keep your computer on. Your computer may restart a few times, so make sure your computer is plugged in. If it's locked up, plug the um. Pass plug the charger in. You don't plug it in, and if it restarts, you can, and if you interrupt this. Guess what? Even by accident, you get a blue screen death, and you have to do a quick install. Don't that happen to you? Then this is what you have to do. Yeah, with desktop, you don't have to do nothing. Maybe we maybe start a few times. So. Okay, sorry about that. Fifty percent.
Let's do a 30 percent. So I'm gonna pause the video again, and I will, and then I will, and then I will turn on the video back when it's done. Oh wait, so the computer and here we go. So we got the so we just successfully upgraded. So I'm gonna turn the camera away because I don't want you to see my login information. Hi. There we go. So it's, this is the first time login screen here. And then we're going to check for Windows updates. Okay, so almost there. And there we have it. We successfully, this is how you upgrade your computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and on this unsupported PC right here. So if I go to um, Google Chrome, but I'm going to change the back site. So personalization, background. I think themes. Themes. I want to use this one. <gasps> yeah, I think this one is better. So we just upgraded it. So, so I'm gonna let me check if my mail works. Okay, so my mail works. I can't show you that. And let's go to devices. As you can see, 22H2. Um, it says it knows this. Windows update. And also, they added new features. So, I, if I go to Task Manager, and they change. See, look at it. Look at the Task Manager. Isn't it nice? Look. Zip, go in here, look over here. It tells you the name, performance, and look at how nice this is. This this task manager looks really nice, this one here. So we Windows update works. So Microsoft says, oh, you need a new PC? No, you don't. Oh, you should be late. Well, sorry about that. 